Amelia, the new girl, faced torment from the school principal's son, Jake. Tired of his bullying, she confided in her wise mom, Maria. Unfazed, Maria devised a clever plan. And when the police arrived, everyone was surprised to see this. The whole school was shaken up when suddenly multiple police officers came into the building. Children were screaming and teachers alike. Only one person seemed to be calm in the situation. The young Amelia, as she had in fact been waiting for this moment. Finally, her nightmare was going to be over. When Principal Stephen came out of his office, he angrily demanded an explanation. But instead of getting one, he was actually greeted by a fresh pair of handcuffs that were slammed around his wrist. He could barely believe it. The police even grabbed his young son Jake by the arm and started screaming that they would all be fired by the morning. But then the police explained to him why they had come here, and Stephen immediately fell silent. His eyes scanned the hallway until they landed on Amelia. How could you do this? But what had Amelia and her mother done? Why was Principal Stephen arrested, and what was set to happen to his son Jake? It had been this way. From the very first day Amelia came to this new school, it was clear that Jake was the most popular kid in her class, and he immediately started to target the poor girl. And of course, when the most popular kid chooses somebody to bully, a lot of other people in the class will follow soon. And this is exactly what happened. It started with some spitballs and insults. And before the first day even ended, Amelia had run out of the classroom crying because every child in the class was making fun of her. And what she did not understand was that the teacher was not doing a things about it. He was clearly pretending that nothing was happening. If a teacher was not going to help her, Amelia figured that her best shot was going to talk to the principal. He would simply have to help her. But this hope would turn out to be futile when she walked into the office of the principal's office. The man was actually very concerned with her, especially when he realized that she was a new student. The principal, Stephen, sympathized with Amelia about bullying among new students. Amelia identified Jake as her main bully. But Stephen unexpectedly reacted with anger, accusing her of lying. Unaware of the principal's connection to Jake, Amelia left feeling defeated. Outside, her teacher apologized, revealing that Jake had a history of bullying, and the teacher feared retaliation due to Stephen being Jake's father. Amelia, realizing the complexity, left the school. Her teacher explained Stephen's denial and the threats to his job when reporting Jake's behavior. Amelia returned home, concealing the day's challenges from her mother, Angela. In solitude, she grappled with the echoes of mockery. Days passed, and she mastered wearing a mask, concealing her pain both at school and home. Amelia faced an unseen war, navigating hallways with her invisible defenses. She became adept at hiding her struggles, perfecting the art of invisibility. Her battles left no visible scars, but internally, she bought the bruises of unseen skirmishes. Invisibility became Amelia as role. Slipping through crowds and noticed her struggles muted by louder stories. Her voice diminished in class and at home. She remained a shadow, her silence yet to be understood by her mother. Amelia's silent cries blended into her anonymous existence as Jake's bullying wore down her resilience at home. Cracks started to appear in her facade, and during dinner she broke down, revealing the torment she faced. Angela? Her mother embraced her vowing to confront the issue together. The shared tears strengthened their bond, turning their space into a sanctuary. Angela, a social worker, formulated a plan to address the problem. At night, she strategized, combining her motherly instincts with professional skills. The next morning, Angela assumed a new identity as an intern to infiltrate the school unnoticed. With a clipboard as her shield, she observed silently, becoming a guardian for Amelia. Angela scrutinized the social dynamics unraveling the threads of bullying. Focused on understanding Jake, Angela studied him clinically detached from malice. Her consistent presence allowed her to witness the school's neglect and indifference. Angela aimed to shake the institution's framework, accumulating trust and meticulous records. In her intern role, Angela became part of the school's fabric, documenting Jake's aggression and exposing the system's shortcomings. Her notes became silent witnesses to a story that needed to be told. In an empty classroom, Angela and Emilio's teacher 
formed an alliance against Jake's bullying. Their shared purpose led to the compilation of evidence, creating a crescendo of justice. Angela's meticulous recordings expose the truth, uniting victims and revealing a bullying ecosystem within the school. Other victims joined the cause, turning whispers into a chorus of shared experiences. Angela's recorder captured the reality of Jake's actions, and the evidence painted a vivid picture of the school's negligence and complicity. The illusion of tranquility began to crumble and a reckoning was imminent. Angela's evidence spanned the spectrum of Jake's misconduct, solidifying the case against Principal Stephen. The accumulating proof showcased systemic failure and unveiled financial irregularities, hinting at corruption within the administration. Angela presented the evidence before the school board, revealing a story of personal anguish and institutional shortcomings. The board members confronted with the recorded echoes of their schools, hallways, realized the undeniable and unmcnormal truth. Angela's evidence prompted authorities to launch a discreet investigation, causing an undercurrent of unease within the school. Detectives moved quietly through the halls, lifting the veil of silence and signaling accountability. As the investigation progressed, anxiety gripped the school board, and once perfunctory meetings extended into the night, the evidence collected by Angela and the teacher exerted pressure, eroding trust in principal Stephen faculty and students sensed a change in the air anticipating a reckoning deeper into the investigation. A damning discovery emerged financial inconsistencies linked to Principal Stephen fraudulent transactions concealed behind his trusted position. Tarnished the school's leadership. The integrity of academic records had been compromised, revealing alterations and betrayals of trust. The moment of reckoning arrived unexpectedly as Principal Stephen, once the figurehead, faced the reality of his imminent downfall. Handcuffed in his office, he became a symbol of disgrace. His arrest sent shockwaves through the school, impacting teachers and students alike, marking the end of his reign and the forceful revelation of unexpected truth. The institution, once steadfast for decades, faced a profound upheaval shaking its foundations, compelling the community to grapple with a trust irreparably broken. Following the arrest of Jake's father, Jake found himself thrust into an unforgiving spotlight, leading to his suspension from the school where he once ruled unchallenged. The school board, in the aftermath, took a decisive step toward remediation by enrolling Jake in a counseling program, aiming not only for discipline, but reform to prevent the perpetuation of the bullying cycle. Amid the healing process, the school community shifted focus from the scandal to rebuilding trust. Relief permeated the atmosphere, signaling the beginning of an arduous journey towards recovery. With the departure of Principal Stephen, a new leader emerged, bringing a vision for a future prioritizing safety and inclusion. Energized by the promise of change, the community rallied behind this figure ready to turn the page and embrace a new chapter. The school's anti-bullying policies now fortified with strict enforcement and heightened awareness, reflected the lessons learned from a painful history. The commitment extended beyond punishment to prevention, creating a protective framework for students. The town engaged in reflective conversations sparked by the school's trials, addressing bullying and the responsibility of those in power. It marked a moment of collective introspection and commitment to the welfare of the youngest community members out of adversity. The school forged a new ethos of resilience, translating policies into lived values. The community celebrated individuals like Angela and the one silent teacher who stood firm against wrongdoing. Angela, once a silent guardian, witnessed the unfolding transformation with a heart buoyed by relief. Amelia is genuine smile became a balm to wounds, signifying a reclaimed place in the school and quiet strength. Amelia stood on the cusp of new horizons, carrying the wisdom of her ordeal as a reminder of her journey's potential. The school, once a battleground, now echoed with laughter, engaged learning, and a community on the path to recovery. A new dawn illuminated the institution, its hallways filled with the promise of a brighter tomorrow, crafted by those who dare to demand better a testament to the power of truth and enduring hope for change.